let's say that I want to mask the title here. Now, I can't think of a regular expression that would cover this title field, and even if I take all these and, and string them together, it would mean basically that if I, if I have sales appear somewhere else, it would mask that as well, and I don't want that. I just want to mask the values within that specific column. So that would not fit within a, what, what we call a content-based rule. What I want to do is create a context-based rule to mask specifically this column within this table, within this page. So let's see how we do that. So as, so far, when we, did, when we chose the rule, we chose the content-based rules. We can now choose the context-based rule and insert a new Guardian masking script to catch that specific column. However, that is complicated, so we simplified this issue by creating a tool where we can navigate the application and choose what we want to mask. So this, we call this tool a selection tool because it lets you select what you want to mask. So in this case, the selection type is table column. We press on the start selection. We go and we choose the column that we want to click on. We click on the title. It gets marked. Okay. We'll call it mask title. Now we know the specific context where it is on the screen, so we can give it uh, uh, styling. We can say, let's give it a color. Let's say, let's put it in this type of color. Now once we apply this rule, we go back, we see that we have a new action called mask title. If we go into that action, we see that we have the script generated for us to mask that specific column. If we save this rule and we reinstall, the next time we go to that page, marketing contacts, we see that it's being masked with the specific styling that we requested. Okay? Now because I've specified specifically uh, uh, the URL in this case, okay, I will show you this, in this item, I've captured specifically the parent of marketing and module contacts. So if I go to a different one, I would expect that this column would not be masked. Even if I go to support contacts, this column would not be masked because I chose a specific URL. Only in that specific URL that I've chosen will that column be masked. But how about the following? Uh, we were in this, uh, we had this customer that had, uh, in a table, had a comments field. Now in general, the comments field is, is uh, a comments, uh, a column. And in general, Comments are basically the worst nightmare of any software engineer because, you know, it's free text that is being inserted and you can put anything there. It could be sensitive, it could be non-sensitive, it could be important, it could be unimportant. But you still have to follow regulation. So, for example, imagine that you have this, co this comment. You have, the customer is available between 8 and 11 a.m. His mobile phone number is and the mobile phone number. Now, obviously, the mobile phone number of that customer may be private. You cannot disclose it. You may have a column in the middle saying shipping phone number, where that is the phone number that the customer agreed to be contacted in case of a shipment. So how would you go about masking that information? So far we have a content-based rules, but if we mask all phones, we will also mask the phone of the shipment. We have context-based rules where we can mask the whole column but then we will also mask the information that this customer is available between 8 and 11 a.m. So the shipment might arrive at 2. We only want to mask the phone number within that comments field. So what we really want is to mask the specific content within a context. So let's see how we do that. We'll go back to the rules and uh, let's look at the phone number again. And I'm going to click on another 
of those context uh, of those flags that I didn't talk about. The add context flag. The add context flag lets you again navigate the application and go to the specific page and choose a specific column where the comment field is created and then you will only match the content within that context.